UFO landed up here. Oh, it's just the street lights. No, I'm thinking about the street lights. Um, they're LED now. So, as, as, as there are a lot of the car headlights, which really annoys the crap out of me. Because cars don't really have to worry about saving power on the grid, so they don't really need to have the LED lights. They could have good old fashioned halogens and be just fine. But uh, anyway, uh, the street lights being diodes, LEDs. First and foremost, it's a diode, which, you know, cuts a, uh, as a rectifier and takes it half of the wave and blocks it and then allows the other half to. I mean, you can, you know, you can do something with the other half of the wave too, which is deflected. But anyway, that's the point. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of systems that operate on DC. They're, they're pulsed to DC now. They're not truly AC. And... The frequencies, I believe, getting you know sent out are there. That's you know that format, pulse DC, high frequency. That those are the ones that will oscillate and mess with people. Because the AC will, you know, you'll get one half the wave hit you, the other half the wave will hit you. It'll cancel out, and, and you know it might not be good for you, but it will cancel itself out and not you know affect you as much. But a DC is just a straight push all the time from one to the other, so it's just, it's like hit, 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 all in one direction, and it, that's why it's so much more uh, damaging to, to living things, in my opinion, uh, thinking about it. So, all these LED lights that have gone in, they're making uh, the 240 volt AC that comes into the you know, power poles and uh, power them. And they're making, they're using the half wave, so they're turning it to DC also. So there's a, a large potential of DC power being made because of all these LED lights at each light. And they're pretty high powered lights. So the, the idea I think is that I think the street lights have, uh, as well as being LED light emitters, they're also high frequency crystal oscillator type emitters. They're like piezo, <laughs> they're like quartz piezo emitters or something, except a little higher frequency than that. Very a lot higher. Than that. Uh, but they have all that DC right there. And that's the power source that it requires to, you know, do that and then high power to, you know, really push the signal very far because it's so high frequency it doesn't want to travel a long way. So that was the thing for the 5G towers all over the place in the relay repeater stations. It looks like uh, Edison won in the end. <laughs> but, uh, so all this DC power and all these uh, LEDs you know, an LED, uh, a, a liquid crystal screen, or, or if for that matter, like on your phones or, or devices, uh, can emit more than just light waves. There's, a, you know, the whole spectrum of waves from whatever, from low sound waves to, you know, gamma rays and everything in between x-rays and it's, you know, it's a little puzzling to me, like, is it all the same type of electricity for the electrical portion of the waves? Uh, you know, I'm not sure. But, uh, anyway, so all these street lights can be all over the place and they are beaming that frequency if, you know, if you're affected by the frequency. If you have tinnitus or you have, uh, skin problems, you know, weird lumps and bumps and, and bulging veins and or uh, toenail and, and hair issues or, you know, discoloration, of, you know, especially splotchiness of a, uh, a reddish, pinkish, purple or white nature. It's unusual. That could very well be frequency related. All right, now I'm feeling like between my eyes, my... My eyebrows are like trying to uh, 
involuntarily furrow together is what it feels like. And, uh, my ears are ringing pretty good too right now. It's really, really nice. That guy must be too, because uh, he's like, he's like, oh, getting on the gas. I noticed when, uh, I had this, uh, this issue crop up at times when I'm driving. Okay, all the time when I'm driving, but a lot of the times when I'm driving, other people around me driving will become real aggressive when they're driving. They'll just they'll speed up, or the whole you know everybody on the road right there will just start going faster, <laughs> and, you know, changing lanes for no reason. And sometimes it's really strange. And then other times, uh, they will seem to remember it could just be my imagination, but. They yeah, seem to tailgate the hell out of me, but it was like tailgating. All right, well, I'm going 10 over the speed limit, so you, <laughs> you can stop tailgating me now. But no, don't see if I'm tailgating. Whatever. We're tailgating. Da, 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 da. Tailgating. If I, if I let the cruise control have its way, it will tack itself out in second gear, keeping doing 70 up the hill, which isn't good. But if I turn the cruise control off, or kick it off with the brake, and, and I'm pressing the gas manually, it will easily stay in third gear and do 70 up the hill. I don't know, it's a little odd. It, it, it does a quicker drop uh, on the shift when the cruise control is doing it than when it's on manual control. It's like programmed differently. Hmm. Tell you what though, Toyota makes a damn fine uh, automatic transmission. Because this one's seen some use. It's the worst bit. I'd say it's leaking too, I think. I'm probably low on fuel. No, I guess that was uh, uh, it was it was full last time I checked it. Anyway, LED street lights. Killing you or killing you? You be the judge. Thanks.